Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at how to make something like this. Uh, just fireflies trapped in a bottle. We're going to do a lot of things uh, like uh, showing you how to make the animated fireflies. I'm going to use uh, the old particle system, not geometry nodes. After that, I find it much easier and uh, maybe show you how to add these symbols on uh, glass like that. Yeah, so this is our scene here and uh, maybe let me uh, turn it back to night time. Yeah, so... It's a simple scene, uh, and uh, the project files are going to be on the middle of my Gumroad page uh, if you want to examine those. Okay, so let's start by creating the glass. I'm going to add a circle. Uh, we can do like uh, 10 vertices and uh, just model something simple here. Extrude up a loop here. Add in some details out. Insert, insert, push up. Yeah, something like that. And uh, maybe you can round off uh, this. Add a subdivision surface like that. Shade smooth. Yes, something like that. I want to add some rings. Uh, the way I usually add rings is uh, I kind of fake them. I add loops like that and I use a shear tool to push them. Uh, they Or they don't go around scroll like uh, the real thing. Uh, but uh, if you view them from one side, which, which most of the time you're going to be doing, uh, they, they look like actual ridges. That's enough. Here. Yeah, for the inside, um, you could add a solidify modifier, but uh, I find that uh, it doesn't give you the detail we want uh, because if you look at uh, my original version and uh, let me go back to the daytime how detailed it looks especially here it looks really thick uh, i can't really get that with a solidify modifier so what i usually do is just select half of this uh, why is this this should be straight up. okay so i usually just select half of this shift d use alt s to push it in a bit but make sure that you, you, you don't run into intersecting issues because if you push this too far, they start to intersect. Push it a little bit just like that and then scale it in. So that's going to be the thickness of our glass. And just push that out like that and then just bridge these two edge loops. Shift N and uh, flip the normals. I'm going to add a supporting loop there. S add a uh, sky. We can start working on the glass. I'm going to keep the glass very sim fairly simple. It's just going to be a glass shader, glass shader like that. Let's do 1.5 for the glass. Now you can give it some color as well. So maybe give it a bluish tint like that. Now we can add details uh, like uh, this logo or something to make things look more interesting. Let me use projection mapping, UV project, uh, to just project this here and uh, go to my texture folders to look through my textures i think and uh, my details i have some yeah i got this I'm going to import that and i just use a bump use this as a bump and uh, just make sure that i scale this up and uh, you can turn off repeat use clip now we can work on the fireflies use a cube i uh, place it inside here scale it up and a particle system Hit play, see what we have. Change the physics from Newtonian to Boyd's. We don't want them to pop into existence. So I'm just going to have them all emitted on the first fl flame like that. We don't want that many fireflies. We can use like 20. And uh, their life can be the length of the timeline. So maybe 250. And uh, now we just need to give them some interesting movement. So we can go under physics movement. Uh, increase the maximum speed to something like uh, 30. Boy's brain, we can add a void collision. Uh, they get, get going out of glass, our glass, so we can give this glass a uh, collision. And uh, now they should all stay within uh, the glass like that. And uh, we can add a cover to our glass. I'm just going to borrow an edge loop from this. Shift D, extrude, uh, scale up, and then extrude. Also make it its own object. For the material, I'm just going to search my asset library for a wood material. Material, wood material. Uh, I don't want this cube to to render, so I'm going to turn off instancing. I'm going to turn off the show instancer. Now, for our, for our fireflies, we can create something simple. Since this is going to be something small, I'm going to create a cube, give a subdivision level of one, apply the subdivision shade smooth. Uh, that's going to be the body. Now the wings, I'm just going to, again, keeping everything simple, uh, I'm just going to create a simple wing here. 
just make sure the pivot point is at the edge there. Just make a simple wing um, like that. Like that thing that was in a Harry Potter something. Okay, and then I'm going to add a mirror modifier to this and I use this body as the mirror modifier. Now to admit this, keeping things simple, I'm just going to add a keyframe like this and then yeah, this goes up and then just duplicate this. Yeah, something like that and tab into edit mode. I uh, only want uh, the rotation keyframe. I want to focus on this. So this is, uh, let me pause here. This is our bar. We can add a modifier uh, cycles uh, to repeat uh, the cycle. Can scale this on the X to make this faster. Maybe scale this on the Y. Perfect, maybe that's too fast. Yeah, something like that. And uh, we can have this in a collection called uh, Firefly. Perfect. Now we can go back, look at our jar. In the particle system, we can go to the render, change this from render hello to collection, and I choose our Firefly collection. Uh, scale this up. Now we see that uh, the, the wings and the body are being emitted separately. And why are they being pushed out? I'm not sure. What we can do is make sure that uh, we're emitting the whole thing instead of just one like that. Um, we are having an issue with them escaping out. Let me see, maybe, ah, if you, if they're escaping is usually because uh, your, if you go to render, it's because your render scale is too high. So the collision bound is way bigger than your collision object. So make sure that uh, the, the scale is down. And if you want to scale up the objects, just go under uh, the collection itself. Just go under to the Firefly collection and scale those instead. So I'm going to parent this to this and just scale, scale that. Let me turn off my keyframes here. Scale that so that the Fireflies scale up and uh, stay within the bounding box. I can go to the original Firefly and uh, create a new material. You can either use an emission, an emission material, let me see the material, back the glass. And if this is a night scene, you can, I also added some roughness to the glass uh, using my grunge map. So I'm, I'm going to go to my grunge collection, grunge folder and just look for something like this and uh, import. Let me use box because I don't want to UV unwrap this and connect that. Just have some roughness. You can see now uh, the everything looks a bit more detailed, uh, except I don't like too much roughness. So I'm going to add a ramp radius on. Maybe we could change uh, this maybe to something like this. I'm going to switch this texture. Yeah, just add a bit of roughness. You can use an emissive shader or you can use a transparency, a translucence shader, which I think gives you more detail. So let's go to the Firefly again. Instead of the emission, you can use a translucent. Yeah, now that looks like that. In the Firefly, the other thing you could add is a light, a point light. Uh, because right now, this, even when this is an emission, emission shader, and uh, you're using EV, and uh, let's say I have, let me, let me add a rock just for something to light, to light on. Let's add a rock. And uh, let's bring back nighttime. So if we are in EV, you will notice that uh, if you're just using the lights, now let me, let's make sure that this glass is also screen space reflections. You see that if I turn off this light, you see that uh, though we have the fireflies in there, uh, they're not really cast, they're not lighting up the scene as you would expect our fireflies to do. Oh, this has to be alpha blend and show backspace. Yeah, you can see, and uh, we can change 
how reflective this is. Yeah, they're not adding any light to our scene. So what we can do to make them add like actual light to our scene, uh, we can just add a light, a point light in our Firefly collection. Just make sure that uh, it's at the center of the world as well. And now since it's part of the Firefly collection, it will also be added. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can see that point light will also be added to the fireflies. Now, we are not really seeing the light just yet because uh, it's inside the firefly and the fireflies are, are blocking uh, the light. So we can go back here and uh, make sure that they don't cast any shadows. And also that our glass does not cast any shadow. So if we reduce uh, the, if, if you create a custom distance, you can actually see the firefly. But uh, now the issue is that uh, the light emitted by the firefly is not the same color of the, uh, of the firefly. So to make sure that it's the same, all you have to do is change from emission to translucence and just keep the color white. And now since the light is inside our firefly, Whatever color we, we select is going to affect, is going to change the color of the firefly, which is, I think, is amazing. Now we can add more fireflies here. So let's go to where, yeah, our emitter. Let me call this. Add bloom, I mean occlusion. And uh, let's add, I have a water surface I could use. Maybe we could add some movement to the water. And what else? What else? We could add some mountains. Anything for extra detail. And I'm going to use my quick function to add a volume increase the clip distance just reduce the density the, the strength let's try 0 0.01 uh, if you're using cycles the points make sure the cube in the shading here does not cast shadows otherwise also the light is going to be blocked and uh, let me make sure that this is back to 10 that's it. Uh, thank you. All the project files are going to be on my Patreon page, Gumroad, and on my YouTube members page. And, uh, yeah. You can compare this to the original. Basically, the same thing. 